At the Larry's Anything Goes, hopefully you guys have had a great and exceptional day. All right, we are late, but we are getting this train moving before the day is over with because I try to do my word of the days five days a week. And, you know, you're going to keep this train going regardless of the situation. Today's word of the day is juvenile. Stands for not fully grown yet, uh, young, intended for, or appropriate to children or young people. Immature, childish, um, a young person, child, etc. Now, I chose the word juvenile <clears throat> for two reasons. One reason is I just got finished working out and I was listening to the old school rapper from the good old New Orleans or New Orleans, as some of them locals call it, um, juvenile. Um, you know, just to get myself pumped up because I had a late workout today. So when I have my, these late workouts, I need the, all the music that I need. I need it to get me, in, you know, pumped up, engaged, give me some that, that nice energy music. You know, that's why most of the new music, especially hip hop that's out today, when it's just like, I can't get with that. But that's just me. I'm an 80s baby, so it is what it is. But anyways, um, but I chose that word because a lot of people think always love to think that, well, you're at this age, so we expect X, Y, Z out of you. And a lot of times, age is nothing but a number. Not all the time. I'll say this around my mother, it takes her off um, when I go see her, but it is what it is. Uh, a lot of times, age is nothing but a number. Mature. Everybody's maturity levels are very, very different. I was actually, ironically, I was actually much more mature as I looked at old pictures of myself back in the day. Matter of fact, let me let these pictures out now. Since it's late and not during the day, I got more time on my hands. So if you can see clearly this picture, this is your boy. Um, here it is. Back in high school, back in I had my little Bone Thugs and Harmony pictures, and this is me. There it is. Uh, back in the fifth grade. Now, um, I was to me, I you know I wasn't the smartest or the brightest kid, but academically at least uh, i was intelligent in other areas but i did have a lot more common sense and i was a lot more mature and the way i was raised you know saying yes sir no sir yes ma'am no ma'am thank you please greatly appreciate it you know i still even do that to this day because um i like to show people respect until they just show that they don't deserve it anymore that's a different story for another day but that's just the way i was raised and i noticed that you don't see too many children in today's world do that anymore i guess for a lot of parents that's just not important and it is what it is everybody has their own parenting style i'm not even gonna get into that conversation argument because i'm not a parent and so i'm not gonna tell somebody what to do you know but i do respect the, the parents more so that teach the, their kids those kind of things you know the crazy thing called respect and everybody's version of respect or definition of respect is different i get that as well i respect that as well and i look at it like that and i move on with my life all right but um everybody is a juvenile in their own sense until they figure out when it, the time is right for them to mature in their own specific way all right now today's quote of the day is by oprah oprah winfrey she said you can have anything you want if you're willing to give up everything you have and a lot of times people are not willing to give up everything that they have. <clears throat> a great example, two, two, uh, a television show, the Wu-Tang Clan series, and the movie Dolomite really proved that because they showed that even Nipsey Hussle, rest his soul, proved that. These people were believed in themselves, all different backgrounds, you know, all come from all different parts of the United States. Nipsey was from LA, um, Dolomite was from um, Arkansas, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Wu-Tang Clan was from New York City, but they all, all, all put their money in uh, when it came to their dreams, goals, and aspirations to be rappers, to be actors, to be um, sensations, international to international sensations. It was all money in, as Nipsey Hussle's uh, record label was, all money in, and with, with um with Dolomite, he even got rid of his apartment that he was renting, he slept in a, an abandoned hotel, um, at all the money he was making good money touring the country doing um, comedy shows and he put all the money down and he borrowed as much money as he could because especially back then in the 70s it was harder for people especially black men to borrow money and get access to capital compared to compared to today it's even harder today still hard today but it was way harder back then um, and same thing with Nipsey all the money he put all this money in him and his family his friends all the money into the music same thing with Wu-Tang Clan. They they put all their money in. They got rid of the house that they were renting. They lived in an apartment, you know, seven people in a two-bedroom. 
or a one bedroom. They it was all money in. It was this. It was this success or failure. Even Eminem, you know, he said success or failure. He was a high school dropout. He knew that that um, he did not have any other options. It, this is what he was good at. This is what he was going to do. You know, and a lot of times, um, you have to if you want something in this life, you got to be willing to do the things that other people are not willing to do. You got you got to be willing to go to places that other people are not willing to go to. You know. That's the one good thing about today's internet where a lot of people don't even have to go anywhere. They can just put something online and if it's hot and it pops, then hey, then it, then it pops. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. But anyways, on that note, family, do the great day for things. Like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you're going to live like a fool. I might go live tomorrow, but most likely if not, I will go live on Wednesday. Trying to not, you know, as they say, I'm adult. I've been adulting this week, so I've been handling some more business. But either way, it's all good in the neighborhood. Take care.